Hey, Mike, what you doing? Look at that fax we just got. We have a fax? It's our contracts. We have contracts? You remember a while ago we got threatened with a, a legal letter from Genesis? Yes. We finally got that. Oh, is that what this is? This is our contract. There's been a change in our contracts. Thanks, well, thanks to you mostly. What did I do? Uh, you know about the, the broker? Yeah, $10 suit and all. Yeah. Yeah, you're not allowed to do anymore. It's huh? legally changed, yeah. What does it say? That's crap. Let me show you. I'll show Drew when he gets here, too. I don't need to show But I think he has to Show Drew what when oh. he gets here? Oh, Drew's hey. here. What's up? Speak of the white horse. I was just telling him, uh, I got a copy of our contracts here faxed into us. Yeah. We are no longer allowed to say it's a $10 suit on a broker anymore. It's written here. They can change. What? It's legal. Edwards, it's not a ten dollar suit. It's it's made of the finest, you know, Asian silk imported. Technically, you technically know. it's nine dollars and I don't know about hey. I don't know about well now you can't even say that on the air, so from now on it's whatever the price is. I guess she said where is it? Here it says it's a three thousand dollar suit. On the last page it's a ten thousand dollar suit. So. Alright, fine. I won't mention the fact that he wears a three thousand dollar minus two thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollar suit. Let's get to filming! Oh my. I guess it's gonna be one of those shows.
Well, getting right to it, Black Lightning took on the rising star, Justin Star, on his I'm Angry at Everyone tour. When you get these two guys that throw themselves around the ring as much as they do, you can be guaranteed that you're going to get a huge match. But even with C4 and Chi Chi Yeo at ringside, Black Lightning still got the win after a very questionable technique. Yeah, very questionable. I think maybe Castle the Broker better look at that film again. Well, my boys, the Red River Rebels and my good friend Cousin Otis. Well, not Cousin Otis because he got banned from ringside. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. He took on the uh, took on the Empire team of NJ Syndicate and the Broker with a special guest referee in Connor Lee Denny for the Tag Team Championship. This match was interesting with great unorthodox moves going on all over the place. You mean cheating? No. You mean illegal moves? No! No! Anyway, the Empire team picked up the win by DQ, and then the Rebels cleaned house. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I don't know. I thought it was nice to see the broker in shiny pants. It was time for the collision of the frat. Rogue Chris Chambers and former Pledge, Michael Morton, stepped into the squared circle to face each other. Now, both of these guys showed some great moves, some different types of moves, but apparently Bro felt that he couldn't beat Morton. And when he tried to spray um, adult beverages into the eyes of Morton, he got the rap. But then he thought smartly as he tossed the frat paddle to Morton and fell down, leading the referee to believe that he was attacked illegally and giving Bro the DQ win. I'm sure this one is not over. The team of the Wild Stallions with two wives. With the new Moody, Shane Malice, you mean, <laughs> set out an open challenge for the Rebels because they want the tag team belts back. However, Eric Castle came out. You're right. I issued an open challenge. I wanted the Rebels, but I'm really pissed off right now, so I'll take it out on you. There's only one problem. I said I need two people. It's a tag team match, buddy. Oh, come on! And the match got underway. Jeremy Hassel, now free of the Empire, showed some new energy and really looked like he had fun in this match. The Hassel showed why they were contenders for the Tag Team of the Year with some awesome tandem moves. And when it seemed like we were gonna get a winner, the Rebels came out and distracted Shane, allowing the Hassels to take advantage and get the win. The Rebels let the Stallions know they're ready for the meeting at War for Territory 3, August 8th. That should be a fantastic match. And Ryan Fear took on PA champ Bam Bam Hassel in the main event. I'd say that this match was devastating. Just look at some of these moves. I mean, that'd kill a lesser man. These guys put on one heck of a showing all over the ring, showing why AON is the best in Western Pennsylvania. But Bam being the champion showed why and picked up the win over Fear. But then it got fun. Black Lightning appeared and sent his message to Bam Bam Hassel by courageously attacking Bam from behind. And then, I can't believe this, cut off Bam's beard. <laughs> That's quite a way to send a message now, isn't it? Lightning then announced that he would be facing Bam at War for Territory 3 on August 8th for the PA Championship. War for Territory just keeps getting better and better. Well, we're not done yet. When we come back, we're taking a look at C4 and Sharon Hall. Hey! 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 Look at your toy. Uh, 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 no. 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 Oh. Yeah, I got him. I got him.
His name is Frankie Johnstown Pasquarello. Oh. Yeah, do your some research here, man. Headlock by Sherrod Hall. Then why is State College called State College? Because there's a college there, you moron. Off yeah, the ropes. I thought we were at Penn State. Neither man budging. This is a battle of two big men right Oh! oh man, that was a nice reversal. And right back to Headlock. Both these guys are pretty big guys, and Sherrod Hall. In about 272 pounds, six foot two, he makes a headlock devastating. C4 and made then him tonight at 275. Correct, sir. What are you saying? He's fat? No, C4 is all natural, baby. Not C4. Sherrod Hall. Sherrod Hall is all natural as well. Look at that cross. Sherrod Hall is press. just fluffy. Sherrod Hall's a man. Two, oh, kick out. Don't dish Sherrod over there. Don't dish him. Dish, dish, dish. Shut up, Drew. Sherrod now in control. Match slow down a little bit more to his level. Of course, when you got two bigger guys in the ring, it's going to be a little bit more of a slower Why level. can't you pee in somebody's bag? We really need to go into this. this I'm just tired right of him. There, knife edge chop. Rod, reversed into the corner. C4. What a move! I wonder where that t shirt is. That's for sale over at the. Oh man! Back sent them onto the floor! Wow! Where did C4 come from? He didn't even see him. All you saw was Sherrod Hall. Next thing you know, C4's hitting him. Wow, that was amazing! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Where, who said that? Somebody at ringside. What's this about killing Grimace? I don't know, but the hamburger's gonna be very upset. I think it's just because of Sherrod wearing the purple this week. Yeah, well, the, the AON fans are the most passionate fans in wrestling. Yeah. Bring your signs, bring your posters, and bring your bring your uh, your uh, pickup trucks. Oh, Ooh. knife edge chop! You can be replaced. No, I can't. Uh huh. We'll send you to the basement. Uh, you're the one to be replaced. Why do you think that Drew is here? That's oh, true. Oh, the top. There's the fan again. You can't be replaced. I guess I'll be going to the basement oh. here soon. Kick the face. on top. What? Oh, that oh, cracker from the top. That was amazing. What amazing athlete Sherrod Hall is. Oh, man, that's a takedown right there. Very nice. And again, knocks the big man down. I'm saying C4's got this match. I'm going to say C4's the winner. Oh, oh, now that's a spine buster. Devastating. It's like move for move, punch for punch, chop for chop. These guys are matching each other. It's amazing to watch. We saw Sherrod earlier with a spine buster. Now we just saw C4. 
Uh oh, now is he setting up for? What is he doing here? There He's playing go. the crowd a little too long. Oh, and you, oh! you can't do that when you've got somebody like Sherrod Hall in the ring. I like that movie. You know what? I think Sherrod Hall's got this oh, now. Man. Nice backbreaker. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna give it to Sherrod Hall now. I, I bet you are. Uh oh. I'm at the win, you idiot. There goes Sherrod. Oh, we know it. This is setting up for. He's going for the black flip. One of the most amazing moves in AON. I think he's taking a little bit too long, just like I said with C4. He waited too long. C4 got the reversal. Now, Sherrod got the reversal. Now, that's the problem with these big guys. They get worn down later on in the match. They start to get a little lethargic. And that second win is just gone. Oh, no. <laughs> what is that? That's that C4 move. That's, That's it. it. You're See, not told you. up for that. That C4 move puts anybody down. C4 successful in his first title defense. Did, since I, winning the belt. did I not say C4 would win? I said C4 would win. You also said Sherrod would win. No, I didn't. All or Nothing Wrestling would like to take this time to thank our sponsors for their continued support. Seriously, guys, War for Territory is shaping up to be a great event. It's going to be huge. Ooh. And on the very top of the card right now, the big match that we know is signed is going to be our own minority owner, Cass Edison, taking on one of the probably the top wrestlers in Pennsylvania today, Israel St. Patrick. That's insane. That's going to be a crazy match right there. And uh, as for Friday, I don't know who possibly could have booked a match like that. Broker! <laughs> oh, excuse me, I just coughed the word broker. But for whatever reason, since he's on the roster, they decided temporarily, they decided to team him up with Israel St. Patrick against, of all people, the man-child, and of course the rundown favorite, at least our favorite, Marcus the Nomad Cage. In a special attraction match. What does that even mean? I'm not sure, Drew. Why don't you ask your dolls? Action figures. Here we go again. Now, Stonehenge O'Reilly didn't make it here tonight because he ran out of gas. It's weird. Uh, but contrary to what you might believe, I'm not an idiot. So, and that being said, I, anyway, really? point being, I assigned a special enforcer for this match. Oh. Well, that music can only mean one person. He yeah. is the Edge Crusher Smith. Oh, great. ISP doesn't look too happy here. Hey, ISP's got a haircut. Yeah. That's the last time I saw him. Got them all cut. Shut up, X. I can hear everything. I have an earpiece in. I said, give me one, please. I ain't gonna give you one. You're not the lead ring announcer. And Manchild wants to give a hug to Edge Crusher Smith and Nomad holding him back. And Nomad, keep, keep him one. back. Let's keep go. Are they. Actually, doing rock, paper, scissors. Well, how else see? are they going to start this? Hey, for once, they actually agree on something. Flip a coin. I can't, they're actually getting along. They hate each other. What? The man who. Well, Kess isn't a good artist. A couple months ago, was, was at the top of the AON mountain, taking on the. pretty much the top of the MMA mountain here in AON, Marcus the Nomad Cage. Of course, he's the only man sitting on that mountain, but hey, why well, argue <laughs> semantics right now? I'll give you that. Shorter block. Knocks me in down. He's the only man laying on the on his back of the mat right now. Who's responsible for that? ISP, Israel St. Patrick. And a hip toss by the Nomad. Very nice. And a close on. Nomad knows what he's doing Give in the ring. Give the edge in this match to Nomad back and Manchild. They've tagged up before. This is the first time Kess has ever tagged up with ISP. I'm I think sure it's the, the first last. time that Kess has yes. tagged up with anybody. Ax, I'll agree. This is going to be the last time yeah. these two Next time up. they face each other or see oh, each other in the ring. Oh, big forearm in the corner. It'll be in this very ring, in this very building. For Warfare cool. 23. I and a big boot to the face of the Nomad by ISP. Got one more stop on the tour, and that's in State College next weekend. That's Drew's hometown. That's right. Yeah. I used to be saying, no, I'm not going to tag you in. The house that Drew built. And now, here comes, here comes, Ow. big chop. Ooh. That one echoed <laughs> out the Pesterosa. Wow. I think ISP probably going to do it one more time. He's actually playing to the crowd. He said one more time. Oh, he spits on the hand. 
Woo! I think back Ow. in the day we used to call that a skack. I haven't used that term in a long time. Tell you what, you can hear that all the way in the rafters. Now? I think they heard that all the way down in uh, downtown Al Tuna. Oh, man. Now, that's, boots that's traveling to the midsection. He's hitting them hard, I'll give him that. Look at this. He's just stomping a mud hole in him. And now, walking it dry. I think he just told Cass to choke him. Yeah, he's telling him to choke him. Well, Cass won't choke out him. Cass is riding on his own tag team partner. What are you doing that for? Rat out your own partner. I just face wash him in the corner. He's this is a, against the rules, but he does have a five count. I know that's got, what you're gonna say. Well, no, he's got his little dog do on his his tape there. He, he had to get it off somehow. And I think Nomad's now got some dog doing his teeth. Well, Nomad has a has that bristly beard. Oh, kick to the back. Yeah. That usually signifies one thing here. After that, snap married the kick to the back. It's usually the land and Donovan. Here it is, and. Kess tags himself in. What? I guess he wants in this match after all. I proved you wrong, Drew. Well, he was supposed to defend his the referee. Wait, he don't have it though. That's right. Not no more. This is. Oh! A nice snapmare. That's actually surprising. Kess, One. I'm two. And well, that was almost perfect. I'm somewhat, somewhat impressed. It's the perfect always did that. Oh, and there is a tag to ISP again. I never yeah, did that, Kess. Never did I do that. What is going on? Uh oh! Don't turn around, ISP. Don't uh, turn around. No, turn around. Turn around. Turn there around. You might want to tag in Kess. He wants to be in there so bad. Now give no, him the tag. No, not anymore. I can't blame him. I wouldn't want to go in against this guy. You don't know what he's going to do. Look at the size of him. He's the either going to big man child at ISP going at it here. Uh oh. Oh Just, no! In the corner. Now buries his shoulders deep in the gut. That's a big man right there, that man child. There's no question about that. Very mysterious. Anyways, it Kess. <laughs> Just so friendly, he's a fan of everybody, I oh, said. Oh, the fix is in. Go on, rough tag. Well, now he's tagged in. Bring him in, bring in oh, Kess. this one's in that ring. He, he, he high-fived the man child thing. He get in the ring saying it was a tag. He can't take the big man down. Clothesline after clothesline. Man child just stares at him with that goofy grin. What a, no, no, no. Oh, oh. my God. What a choke slam. That has got to be it. One, two, no. Oh. ISP kicks out. Give oh, I was getting credit. worried. Give the guy credit. He will kick out after that choke slam. That was an amazing choke slam. I never thought I'd say this, but tag in Kess Edison for God's sake. He is the rested man in this match. Wow, did I just hear Drew say tag in Kess Edison? Yes, you did. Thumb to the eye. Oh, and a low blow there. This is classic uh, I didn't ISP. see anything. Oh! <laughs> Thank goodness Edge Crusher was there. Wow! Big kick to the chest. That's it. Only a two count. Oh, amazing. This, you're not, it's going to take a little bit more is, than that to put down the big man now. Is the man child wearing silly bands? You know, he probably is. He likes that kind of stuff. Uh, don't turn around, ISP. Oh, down he goes. Take out the wheels, ISP. Think, That's what you gotta wait, do. He's got the tights, but he's got the three count. Referee didn't see it. And uh, ISP and Kess Edison pick up the victory. No, 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 no. ISP picks up the victory. What did Kess Edison do? He showed up. You know what this means, don't you? Going into war for territory, Drew, this means that Kess Edison is undefeated. Kess Edison didn't do squat! Doesn't matter. He was in the match. He was a tag team partner. He's now 1 0 going in that match. Now. Look at the facts. ISP lost his title recently. ISP got the. Oh! oh! That is not going to play any favors going into that match. Uh oh. Oh. That was not good. And they, they came in this time. Serves them right for double trying to trying to. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and say it. We know you're confused. Oh. You can't even find him for that because he was an active wrestler at that point in the match. And now ISP smartly getting out of dodge while getting his good. Oh boy. Yeah. It's, Probably the, the best back. thing he can do. And there's the man shot of Nomad. They haven't quite made their way to the back yet. ISP, I'll be joining Whoop. you in the broker. No, oh, no, they just posited him back what? in the ring. What is that? Uh-oh. No! Oh, man! Wow. That was a big spirit of ISP. That shows you how much he dislikes that man. This is unfair. This is unbecoming out of it. You know Cassettis is behind this whole thing. Yeah, of course. Didn't you see him? out of here. 
Oh my Cast god, Addison, we need to get him out of here. No, Quartz. you, Drew. Come on, this is great. Look wow. at that big edge crusher. That Where's the broker? Where this is, is the broker this is when you need him? Hey. Now, he did Cast, to the bike. Cast with a little word of wisdom himself. Oh. Wow. That's... That's...